Well, today I'm heading towards Parkwood and I've not uh, been here since May, but more about that later. First of all, thank you for watching, liking, sharing and ringing the bell. Special thank you to all those who've subscribed. And uh, as always, if you'd like to make an old man quite happy, go for it and subscribe. Thank you very much. Right, adverts all done. I'm now moving, as I say, towards Parkwood. Haven't been here since May when there were bluebells out. And of course the bluebells will be long gone now and all the shrubs and uh, blackberries. Not that there's blackberries in the wood because there's not enough light. Um, will be all gone. There we are. Now it's been raining for most of the day. I don't think it's been heavy or torrential. But it's been steady rain for most of the day here in uh, the city of Coventry. And uh, here's the issue. Issue! Sorry. Um, everywhere's a little bit wet. So I'm a little bit wet, so I fit in well. There we go. And uh, this was a beautiful path down through here with bluebells either side. Now, of course, there's no bluebells now. And I've managed to get out in the uh, with a little bit of um, weather that's left here for the day. We've got a bit of sun, so I'm coming through here, and uh, I've it, it's had its advantage. There's always an advantage wherever you find yourself. Look for the pluses because, to be quite honest, I found some pluses. I got most of my videos from the holiday. Um, posted today onto um, YouTube so people say that it's an ill wind and quite often there is a plus uh, even in the most dire of situations there can still be a plus people say oh there can't be but I've had people in terrible situations say to me ah but ah but what about this and you think, well, I don't know how I'd react in that situation, but they have found positives. And so it never ceases to amaze me. When my mother was riddled with cancer, she still was getting up in the morning and saying things like, oh, that lady down the road's got a terrible cold. I think we'll go around and visit her and see how she's doing. Take her some lemonade or some, some orange aid or some orange or something. But um, yeah, she was always positive. And uh, that says it all. Not everybody is able to, but there are people who are more positive than others. And uh, I'm generally positive until I start thinking about politics, but that's a whole nother story. So we're going down through these woods. As I say, look, they were the bluebells. All seeds now, just seeds. That's all that's left. And of course you can see the brambles now coming across the path. Um, yeah, I should have bought a pair of cutters to snip them off, I think. Yeah, I'm probably going to get wet trousers now, brushing past all these. Like it matters. Right, here we go. We're coming to a decent path at last. Lovely woods. I mean, how thankful am I that we have these woods right on our doorstep. Now... The thing is, most people don't like them. I can only think that because when I go into a city and film lots of buildings, everybody goes, wow, 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 they like it and share it and do all sorts of things with it. When I come into woods, the average watch time goes down, down, down. In fact, I'm probably talking to myself right now because there'll be virtually nobody watching. But now here you go. As I've said many times, I do this uh, vlogging. I do it for me and in some ways for the posterity for my family. Now right across here was all bluebells. Now look, the ferns and the blackberries are all up. So different now. Yeah, so I, I do it because I enjoy doing it. Um, and that's what I do. So it... Uh, of course it's nice when people look and when people uh, look for m for the whole of the video. That's superb, but um, I would do them anyway. So I still do woodland walks 
because they are so fantastic. I enjoy them and now I've got a record and sadly if the day dawns because we all get old and I can't get out as easily as I do now, I can look back at the wonderful walks that I have had. There is a three wood walk that I do and I've had requests for it from it before and perhaps I ought to do it again. I haven't done it for a, for a good long while. And of course, during um, lockdown, and I was doing my walks each day, I used to go across a golf course where there was all wonderful different coloured rhododendrons. But uh, this year, because we haven't had the same restrictions, where we can't go anywhere in the car or anything, um, I've been able to... Apparently, we were told we were stupid for believing the laws. We should have, you know, we took them too seriously. But um, there you go. So, yeah. So I missed all the rhododendrons there. But we did see them when we were down south, May type, June. And I'm finding it very difficult. This is the second day of July already. And... Um, but June has already flown. Poor June, lovely girl. And uh, and July is upon us. I was singing a Christmas carol this afternoon, and Irene, um, Irene was not over happy about it. But I like to be prepared. You know, it's like the Boy Scout, and he takes a knife with him. I take a carol. You never know, Christmas could spring up on you. And where would you be then? Now I've got bits going in my shoes, which I'm not too keen about, but never mind. Sweet chestnut leaves, looking up towards the light through them, it's a beautiful colour. Now you used to be able to get across through, yeah, through there, I don't think I'll bother. Look at the light coming through onto these trees, what a picture. And of course, sadly, all this green will disappear in the not too distant future. And I film through here in all different times of the year, so you're aware of that. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. This is the Rambling Rambler. That is Dave to his friends in Parkwood in Coventry saying good night, God bless, and have a good evening. And... Uh, I'll see you again sometime. Bye.